Hello students. In the last video lecture of the grammar session of 8th standard, the lesson Infinities. We have seen about what is infinity and its types of infinities. In that we have seen the bare infinities and some of the functions and full infinities. So here with the same topic full infinities as function with noun. Full infinitive can function as a noun in the sentence, as an adjective in the sentence, as an adverb in the sentence. And when they function as a noun, that can be as a subject in the sentence, noun can be subject in the sentence, noun can be used, means function as an object in the sentence, they can be subject complements in the subject, and the first we will take here how the nouns are used as a subject in the sentence. Here you can see with an example. To learn is important. Here what is important? To learn. So here to learn it is used as a subjective in the sentence as a subject in the sentence to learn it is a subject of this sentence and that is infinity full infinity to learn second example to please everybody is not possible what is not possible here to please so here to please also used as a subject in this sentence so now as a subject it is used. Third example you can see to give false evidence it is a scene. What is a scene? To give false evidence. So here to give is used as a subject of this sentence. So that is a noun which is used as a subject in the sentence. Next you can see here as a object. Noun can be used as a object with the full infinitives. So full infinitives can be used as the object in the sentence. Here you can see Rohan does not like to study. Rohan does not like to study. Here what is the noun? Rohan it is a noun means subject. What is the verb? What is the verb? Like is a verb here and to study is a object of that verb to study Mohan does not like to study so to study is a full infinitive as a noun to study is a noun but that noun is used as a object in the sentence you can see the next example they all want to go here what is the subject they and what is a verb want is a verb and to go it is an object of this verb in the sentence to go is an object of this sentence ok so in this way also you can see the next one that is the full infinitive can be used as a subject complement in the sentence that you can see here the purpose is to win so to win it is subjective complement of these infinitives as used as a infinitives as a noun to win in the same manner my duty is to learn my lesson now what is my duty to learn my Lesson. So here to learn is a subjective complement in this sentence. Fourth one you can see adjectives. That means full infinitives can use as a adjective or functions as a adjective. You can see here. This is the game to watch. To watch. Now here to watch is a noun. But that noun is used as a functions as an adjective in the sentence which modifies the noun game game is a noun 
and to watch is modifying the game. So this is the game to watch as an adjective. It is vital to take rest. It is vital to take rest. Here to take rest. It is a noun. Which noun? Full infinitives. As a full infinitives. But they are functioning here as an adjective. As an adjective. It is vital to take rest. Which modifies noun. Hope so you understood. Third one is full infinitives can function as an as adverb in the sentence. So you can see he is ready to go. Now here to go is an infinitive as a noun. But it functions as a adverb because it modifies the adjective ready. He is ready to go. In the same manner he is too young to walk. Now to walk also it is a noun, but that noun is functioning as an adverb in the sentence because it is modifying the noun. Sorry, it modifying the word young, that is adjective. It modifying adjective to walk, and that's what it is functioning as an adverb in the sentence. Hope so you understood this concept. Dear friends, next we have the third type of the infinitives that is the split infinitives. Now what are these split infinitives? You can see over here. When you used adverb or adverbial phrase, when you use adverb or adverbial phrase between two and the verb in the sentence. Then it splits the sentence. You can call it split infinitives. Let's have example for it. For example, to play, to walk, to go, to read, to lie. So a to 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 with the verb play, walk, go, read, lie. These all are the verbs. So when you use adverb or any adverbial phrase between to and verb play, yes, seriously it is used. That is adverb to and play verb and to between them adverb comes. So it splits the sentence. To carefully walk, to suddenly go, to quickly read, to really like. So in the same manner you can see these adverbs are put in these sentences. Between to and walk. Then it splits. And that's what we call it split infinitives. You can see in the examples. She seems to really like it. Now we have to really. It is an infinitive. So when these two and here like is comes in between you can see the ready this adverb. So to and like in between we use ready this adverb. So here it helps to split the sentence. So split infinitive. So it is split infinitive. Second sentence. The teacher told us to quickly read the book. The teacher told us to quickly read. Here also you can see to quickly read to and read verb in between what comes here quickly 
leave so it splits the sentence and that's what it is known as to quickly read split infinitive mm -hmm. this way in this video lecture we have seen it about the information about the infinitives split infinitives and full infinitives and several uses of the infinitives as a subject as an object as an adjective adverb as a noun etc hope so you like this video a lot in the next video lecture i am mish patil will be there for you with a new topic so thank you so much and have a nice day